Cuba for a long time has been at odds with the powerful alliance led by the US during the Israel-Hamas conflict. Its president, Miguel Diaz-Canel, became a leading figure in condemning Israel's aggression towards Gaza. Along with Prime Minister Manuel Marrero and thousands of their citizens, they took to the streets to voice their support for the Palestinian cause. This marked the first protest action of its kind in over a decade. Cuba's former leader Fidel Castro often staged similar demonstrations to protest American sanctions and interference in Cuban affairs. Yes, Cuba has indeed been a perennial opponent of the U.S. alliance. Even in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Cuba stood with Russia. The choice to oppose the U.S. is not arbitrary, as Cuba has significant experience in major warfare. This includes the Cuban Missile Crisis, an event during the Cold War where America placed its missiles in Europe, and the Soviet Union retaliated by deploying its deadly missiles in Cuba, close to American borders. Once feared in warfare, here is a look at Cuba's military strength. The Revolutionary Armed Forces of Cuba were formed in 1950, known in Spanish as Fuerzas Armadas Revolucionarias, abbreviated as FAR. They are represented by a circular emblem in blue, black, and white, with the acronym FAR in the center. Its current formation was patented in the 1960s. Since 2004, Cuban President Raul Castro, in many of his speeches, has stated that the Cuban military is a partner of the people. Historically, the Cuban military was formed by revolutionaries during the Ten Years' War. The revolutionaries, led by Fidel Castro, had their Cuban rebel army, which overthrew the government of Fulgencio Batista. This army then transformed into a professional military, incorporating most of the old soldiers after first purging Batista's elements from within. Previously, Cuba participated in the Caribbean battles during World War II, alongside the Allied bloc supported by America. After the revolutionaries overthrew the government, Cuba shifted its allegiance to the Soviet Union, becoming an adversary of America. Tensions peaked when America attacked the Bay of Pigs in Cuba in the 1960s. The Soviet Union quickly responded, informing John F. Kennedy that any further attacks on Cuba would be considered a declaration of war. Soon after, the Soviet Union placed nuclear-tipped deadly missiles in Cuba, with a single missile capable of destroying a major city. Feeling threatened, America blockaded the Cuban seas with its warships. American attack planes were positioned in Florida, close to Cuba. This high-tension period is known as the Cuban Missile Crisis. In 1962, Khrushchev declared he would withdraw all missiles if the U.S. ceased attacking Cuba. Cuba was then subjected to a trade and economic embargo by America, and Cuban-American relations have remained strained ever since. Despite the embargo, Cuba has managed to endure. It was the first country to send medical aid to nations affected by the Ebola outbreak in 2014, and also provided medical assistance to several countries during the COVID-19 pandemic. Globally, Cuba's economy is indeed struggling, nearly collapsing. Its military budget is one of the lowest in the world. However, Cuba boasts significant war experience, the most extensive among South American countries, with a total force of about 1.2 million people.
the United States once funded military training for Cuban refugees to attack their own country during the Bay of Pigs invasion. Known as Brigade 2506, it was quite popular, but ultimately defeated by the Cuban Revolutionary Forces. Under Castro's leadership, the Cuban army developed rapidly until it faced economic decline. However, the army has been trained to make any enemy invasion costly. According to Global Firepower, the Cuban army ranks 21st in the world. It has a stock of 1,230 tanks, 12,560 armored fighting vehicles, 100 artillery guns, 397 field guns, and 80 rockets. The Cuban Air Force ranks 81st in the world, also per global firepower. It has a total of 80 aircraft, including squadrons of MiG-21 and MiG-23 jets. Russian fighter jets comparable to American fighter jets. It operates from eight air bases, with an elite unit named Playa Jiren, credited with defending Cuban airspace during the Bay of Pigs invasion. Regarding the Navy, it once sank the German submarine U-176 during World War II and successfully protected Cuban waters from American espionage activities during the Cold War. Ranked 84th in the world, the Cuban Navy plans to expand, considering the significant issue of smuggling in the South American region. It has 19 naval units, including one submarine, two frigates, and seven patrol and helicopter carrying ships. With rising tensions between America and Russia, Russia is ready to fill the gaps in Cuba's military by sending its best military equipment. For more on the military alliances and dynamics in South America or Latin America, especially with respect to the United States, Stay tuned for the next video.